What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mark Summers, Major Linux, and it's time once again for another major unboxing, and I am excited. We didn't think that it was going to be here this soon, but it is. Oh, I'm so excited. It's time to unbox the Mac Studio. It is in the unboxing studio, which is in the office but it will be in major studio in the coming days helping out with some of the um capture pipeline of course if you may not have been paying attention in tech talk thursdays i've been talking about trying to do two pc streaming with ndi and of course i'm looking for something to kind of help facilitate video um decoding and encoding without taking up a whole bunch of space in the office We've been testing it with a major, um, with a MacBook Pro, um, M1 Pro, MacBook Pro. It's been doing fine there. Again, with the M1 Pro, 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is, and let me turn around so we can get to see what this bad boy looks like. And it is very, very heavy, very, very big box. Um, this is the 32 gigabyte M1 Max version. This is the base model with 512 gigabytes. Of course, this retails for one, I'm sorry, for $19.99, um, $1,999 um, from Apple. Um, this weekend, Father's Day, Juneteenth weekend, when I'm recording this, it was actually $18.99 at Best Buy. Your mileage may vary. I was gonna go that route, but I decided to go to Apple because of the fact that Best Buy was gonna take me a few days to get it. Apple, coincidentally, when I checked um, on Sunday, had them in stock at um, uh, two of my local Apple stores in Durham and in Raleigh. So I went to the one in Raleigh near my house, um, picked this up and shout out to my Landis who helped me out picking this up, to, uh, wrap with him for a little bit. Uh, definitely wanna shout him out for helping me out getting this bad boy. So without any further Without any further rambling going on, let's go ahead and get this open. So, of course, you know, they've Apple's been a little bit better at um, their unboxing experiences, making it a little bit more accessible. There's no wrapping or anything like that to add the kind of trash that's going on. Um, of course, you got these little pull tabs here. I want to say these were introduced with the iPhone. I'm not entirely sure. It's not like I buy a whole bunch of Mac products. Yeah, right. Um, but yes, yeah, so you got this one little strip here you pull out. Now you should be able to open the box. Now I'm very curious because again, this is a cube. This is like a cube, very, very tall, very, very heavy cube. But of course you open it up like that and look at that, look, look. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn it off to the side because my camera won't let me move this any further back. Of course, looks like you got some documentation and stuff here. Um, and then you just, oh, I'm sorry, no. No, I'm sorry, you follow the arrows and you push them away like that and it exposes the Mac Studio. So I'm gonna try to pull that out. And it's very, very heavy to try to pull while sitting down, but that's what I'm doing here. So I'll pull that out. We're gonna get, to, of course, we're gonna get to that in just a second. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Um, of course, we have the power cable here and yeah that's that that's it that that's it that, that's all that's in there and of course like i said documentation and stuff off to the side right over here well, we're gonna push this back in we're gonna close this back up and that's it i would yeet i would yeet this but it is still, even the box still very sturdy still very heavy and it's like 11 o'clock at night right now, so people are trying to sleep, so I'm not gonna eat it. But just imagine I yeeted it, okay? Just just imagine it was yeeted, we have yeeted it. Of course, again, yeah, we've got the power cable, that's all that's there, and then the piece de resistance. It is the Mac Studio. Of course, it doesn't look any bigger than um, like just Top down profile wise doesn't look anything bigger than a Mac, um, a Mac mini, but of course you flip it off on the side and that boy, damn, you thick, you thick, you thick boy. Um, so let's go ahead and unwrap it here. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna 
take it from the bottom. Oh, wait. Nope. Okay, so you go this way. Oh, okay. You go through the front, maybe? Yeah, it's just, and this, all this is paper. So again, everything seems like it's just easily recyclable. I don't have to worry about I'm putting this in the trash and just put it in my recycling. I should be good to go. We, so we can pretty much yeet that. All right, we've yeeted something here. And of course, now we have the Mac Studio. That, that's it, man. It's just, that's just precious. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Oh, Carl. Ooh, ooh, a little bit out, a little bit out. Let's just bring it back. All right, there we go. So yeah, we got the Mac Studio here. Of course, yeah, it is very, very thick. It's very dense. It reminds me a lot of the Xbox Series X, where it's like something that is not, or not the Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, where it looks like it's something that should not be heavy, but it is really heavy. Um, of course, when you looked at the presentation that they had for when they were introducing the Mac Studio, there's a lot of cooling in here, and that's what makes it really, really heavy. Um, so yeah, this is a big, this is a big chonker here. Um, just through and through. Of course, we're going to take a look at some of the IO. We have an SD card reader up front with two USB types here. I guess these are, these should be Thunderbolt four ports, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but they are Thunderbolt, whether the three or four should be four, given when it is nowadays. And then on the back, look at that expanded um, IO, definitely more than what you would see on the Mac Mini, where of course you got four more Thunderbolt four ports, 10 gigabit um, Ethernet port. There's your power adapter, two full size USB Type A ports. Um, that should be three. It should be USB three, whatever, because again they changed the USB standard so damn much. Um, HDMI. I think that's still 2.0, not 2.1. I know that a lot of people are still upset about that not being 2.1 and headphone jack and of course your power button um more cooling um back here in the back and of course down at the bottom where you got mac studio written right here you got the rubberized grip little foot ring foot ring here and more cooling down on the bottom um so yeah that's pretty much it again so this is going to be take so this is um Going to be sitting in the studio it's going to help me facilitate a lot of video editing um i'm hopefully hopefully what i can do is even run some tests to see how good the m actually i would like to do that i would like to see how good the m1 from the mac mini the m1 pro from the macbook pro and the m1 max on the mac studio compares with something like my like major rig which is my ryzen 9 um 3900x rtx 3080 ti with 32 gigabytes of RAM Windows PC. Like how do those perform when it comes to video tasks? Um, we know with streaming, the 3080 Ti, the 3080 Ti and the Ryzen 9 do very well. Of course, that's how I stream most of my gaming um, and stuff on Twitch. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to see kind of how this handles, especially with video editing. That's mainly where I want to go. Streaming, especially when you're trying to stream 1080p at 6,000 kilobits per second, it's not as intensive as trying to encode something at almost 30 megabits per second, which makes it for very, very big files. However, it's still very, very detailed. Um, something that I really like when I'm doing video editing, when I'm doing a lot of stuff for YouTube. And that's where I kind of want to see where this shines in comparison to my MacBook Pro, which handles it very well. Um, excuse me, not as fast as my um, Windows PC, but even then still being able to handle it without using as much battery power, which is what I'm really excited about with that. But to see what M1 Max does when it's fully plugged in, doesn't move. Um, also given the fact too that my M1 Pro can sit there and remux a file faster than my Windows PC can. So it does have that feather in its camp. So it'd be interesting to see how fast this would even remux the file compared to um, my Windows PC. On top of that, yeah, it's just, it would be nice to have a Mac in the studio. Um, so I'm really excited to welcome the Mac Studio to Major Studio. And with all that being said, that's been an unboxing of the Mac Studio. We are here. It took about three months to finally get one in, but we got it. It is here. I'm excited. Um, I know that the M1, the M2 stuff is out now with M2 uh, MacBook Air and the M2 MacBook Pro. 
But again, my M1 Pro MacBook Pro and obviously the M1 Max and M1 Ultra Max are still a lot more powerful than those M2s. I'm not too concerned about what M2 is gonna do in comparison to me buying the M2, um, M1 Pro, M1 Max stuff right now, um, because it, it just doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It's already outperforming a lot of the Intel stuff that's out there. It's performing a lot of the AMD stuff out there in certain tasks, not everything, in certain tasks. So I'm not upset that, hey, they've announced new chips right now. I'm, I'm good to go. And I cannot wait to see what this baby can do in the studio. Of course, it's your boy, Marcus Summers, Major Linux, unboxing the Mac Studio M1 Max. 32 gigabyte uh, base model Mac Studio. Of course, if you like this, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, what you think about the Mac Studio, of course, three months out. Um, but yeah, that's been it for another major unboxing. And until next time, peace. Y'all still, still here? Anywho, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Really do appreciate it. Of course, if you like the content that you just saw, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that the YouTubers ask you to do. I guess that includes me now. Hmm. Anywho, yes, like, comment, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. Support the channel over Patreon, PayPal, whatever. Check out the links in the video. To anything else I might be pushing, hawking, I don't know. Did I sell out by now? I recorded this ages ago. Have I sold out? Let me know. But until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.